Somalia is a country located on the east coast of Africa, forming the shape of a horn. The country was known as the land of gods to the ancient Egyptians, the land of the tallest men to the ancient Persians, the land of cinnamon to the ancient Greeks, the land of aromatics to the ancient Romans, and the land of the unicorn to the ancient Chinese. Frankincense, one of the gifts of the biblical three wise kings, came from ancient Somalia. To this day, the Roman Catholic Church still sources all of its incense exclusively from Somalia, which remains the world's largest producer. Ancient Somalis were the first to domesticate camels in 2500 BC and spread it to ancient Egypt and the Middle East. Somalia today still has more camels than any country on earth. In the valleys of Somalia, 5,000-year-old rock paintings depict one of the oldest horse-riding cultures in the world. Horses were also an important unit in the cavalries of medieval Somali kingdoms. The horsemen in the kingdom of Adal, for example, wore protective armor for themselves and their horses. While the most famous horse in Somali history belonged to the Dervish king. The oldest surviving sewn ship in the world is the Somali Bedin ship. It was historically used to ship important quantities of spices across the ancient world. Strabo credits the cinnamon people of ancient Somalia to be the first with the knowledge of the monsoons. The Somali people are one of the oldest Muslim nations in history. A 1400-year-old mosque in the city of Zela dates back to the very foundation of Islam, when the early Muslims received refuge from the Aksumite Empire and the Horn of Africa. The medieval Silk Road gold trade between Africa and Asia was founded by Somali merchants from Mogadishu who established a colony in modern Mozambique and extracted gold from the mines of the Mono Matapa Kingdom of Southern Africa. Madagascar was named after Mogadishu. Marco Polo, during his stay in Imperial China, confused the wealthy Sultanate of Mogadishu with the large island in the Indian Ocean. During that same period, the infamous Mongol Emperor Kublai Khan sent a delegation to Mogadishu to establish Mongol trade with medieval Africa. Suspected of being spies scouting out the continent, the Mongols were imprisoned. Kublai Khan then sent another delegation, and they, too, were imprisoned. This swift action by the Somali sultans most likely saved Africa from any further Mongol interest. The Somali Empire of Adal introduced cannon warfare to the African continent in its war against Abyssinia and the Portuguese Empire. Adal was also the first African power to defeat a European power on African soil since the Battle of Cana between the Carthaginians and the Romans 1800 years earlier. During the war, Cristavo da Gama, son of Vasco da Gama, was defeated and killed by the King of Adal. The Sultanate of Mogadishu minted its own coins, which have been found as far away as modern Iraq, Turkey, and Dubai. In the 1580s, a Somali fleet from the Ajuran Empire joined a Turkish fleet from the Ottoman Empire and began attacking Portuguese strongholds across southeastern Africa to free the Swahili world from Portuguese domination. In the year 1660, the Portuguese surrendered to a joint somali omani force at Mombasa in modern Kenya. The only hydraulic empire in medieval Africa was the somali Ajuran Empire. With a network of limestone wells, cisterns, and dikes, it successfully utilized two large East African rivers to project power. In the 13th century, a Somali explorer named Said of Mogadishu traveled to Arabia, India, and China. In the 14th century, a Somali explorer, Abdul Aziz of Mogadishu, became ruler of the Maldives. In the 15th century, a Somali saint founded a town across the Red Sea in modern Yemen, which grew into a formidable seaport. The first Muslim settlement in Sri Lanka was established by a Somali saint. Somali merchants introduced coffee to the world. Grown in modern Ethiopia, Somali merchants exported the now famous stimulant from the Somali port of Berbera to Yemen and the rest of the world in the 15th century. Somali merchants introduced exotic animals to imperial China. The Somali word for giraffe is still used in China, Korea, and Japan. 
Two major medieval scholar families from Somalia are credited with important literary works in Islam and produced viziers, scientists, and scholars serving the Mamluk sultans of Egypt, Damascus, and the Ottoman Empire. In the 18th century, Abdurrahman al-Jabardi recorded the Napoleonic invasion of Egypt. In southern Morocco, Somali merchants established one of the largest and most popular mosques. It's still known as the Somali Mosque. The oldest African community in the United Kingdom was established by Somali sailors. In the 19th century, Somali Sultan Ali Yusuf Kennedy raised an army from Arabia and carved out a kingdom in northeast Somalia. The only Muslim power in Africa during World War I was the Dervish state of Somalia. The Dervishes fought the longest anti-colonial war in African history and built fortresses across East Africa. Hasna, a Somali female commander, led one of the seven divisions of the Dervish army. The Somali Republic is the only African country whose borders were created by Africans. In 1960, the northern and southern parts of modern Somalia formed a historic union to establish a new country. Women in Somalia voted in elections before women in Switzerland. The first head of state to peacefully relinquish power in Africa was the Somali president Aden Abdouli Osman. In 1962, future Somali president Ali Shamarke went on a state visit to the United States and was welcomed by President John F. Kennedy. Both presidents were assassinated in the 60s, despite their popularity with the masses. Two of Africa's and the Middle East's largest film festivals were the Mogadishu Film Festival and the Mogadishu Pan-African Film Symposium. The most expensive African film ever made is the 1982 four-hour-long epic, The Somali Dervish. Somalia's funky musical scene in the 1970s was popularly known as Mogadisco. One of Africa's first female fighter pilots was Osli Abade Hassan of the Somali Air Force, who soloed her first flight in 1976. In 1981, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the NBA's all-time leader in points, coached the Somali basketball team. During the African Championship in Mogadishu, the Somali team went from nobodies to continental heavyweights, jumping to Africa's top three. Somalia was the first African country to sign a friendship treaty with the Soviet Union. 5,000 Somali soldiers and students at one point trained and studied in the Eastern Bloc. Soviet cosmonauts trained in Somalia to prepare for their missions in space. The airport of Berbera, with the longest runway in Africa, was also one of NASA's designated emergency landing points on Earth for the iconic space shuttle. The Agaden War was the longest conventional war fought in Africa since World War II, with the heaviest mechanized and aerial battles. It resulted in the largest Soviet intervention and airlift since the march towards Berlin in 1945, just to push back the Somali soldiers who had overrun the Ethiopian Empire. The Somali pharmaceutical industry at one point mass-produced 48 essential drugs and was one of Africa's largest hubs for pharmaceuticals. Mogadishu was known as the White Pearl of the Indian Ocean and a major tourist magnet. Somalia in 1974 launched Africa's largest literacy campaign and won a UNESCO medal after the country's literacy rate jumped from 5% to 75%. Somalia built Burundi's Air Force, protected the borders of Tanzania and Uganda, flew jets for Zambia, defended Mozambique from the Portuguese, trained South Africans fighting apartheid, supplied Eritrea's War of Independence, sent troops to Angola, sent medics to Equatorial New Guinea, supported Egypt with naval logistics, supported Djibouti's independence movement, supported Zimbabwe and Namibia's war against the apartheid forces. The country has a rich heritage filled with ancient and medieval cities, castles, towers, and fortresses. Somalia has produced more supermodels than any other country from the African continent. The president of the International Court of Justice comes from Somalia, as does Olympic champion Mo Farah, 
award-winning rapper and poet, Kanan. Nobel-nominated author, Narudan Farah. U.S. Congresswoman, Alan Omar. And many more. The Somali bandy team are the undisputed champions of Africa, as Somalia is the only country in Africa with a bandy team. The ancient Shah board game originates in Somalia and is played from Egypt to Tanzania. The most popular hat worn by Muslim men across East Africa originates and is exclusively produced in the Somali city of Brava. Though Somalia is one of the most homogenous countries in the world, the country has several important minority populations, such as the Bajunis, the Brabanese, the Benadiri, the Somali Bantu, and the Arabs. The Somali people are genetically and linguistically closely related to the Afars, the Hararais, the Oromos, the Bejas, the Amharas, the Saho, and other major groups in the Horn of Africa. Somalis are the only African ethnic group to have a sea named after them. Off the coast of Sicilies lies the Somali Sea. Despite emerging from a civil war, Somalia still has the most deep water ports on the African continent. With the longest coastline in mainland Africa, Somalia is one of five African countries selected by Rakanshur to become a blue economy giant. Somalia has 52 million heads of livestock, 27 million sheep and goats, 15 million camels, 5 million cows, and one of the richest fishing grounds in the world. Somalia's dairy industry is worth $3.3 billion. According to the Spectator Index, Somalia is also ranked first in global camel milk production. A Financial Times article has stated that the best real estate investment in the world today is beachfront huts in Somalia. Somalia is considered a future energy superpower with an estimated 110 billion barrels of oil, one-third of the world's uranium reserves, the strongest wind power potential in the world, and 3,000 hours of sunlight annually. Somalia is a continental leader in mobile money with a market worth $32 billion a year, which is larger than the economies of Albania and Jamaica. Somalia has the cheapest internet cost per gigabyte in Africa, and more than 70% of adults use a mobile phone. The Somali shilling has been the best performing currency in the world between 2010 and 2020. Somali Airlines was the first airline flown entirely by African pilots. Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia, is the fastest growing city in Africa, and is enjoying a major reconstruction boom. Somalia's Milky Sea is the largest bioluminescent area in the world. And with a total of 649 species, Somalia is a hidden bird watcher's paradise. Somalia has national parks, it has beaches, it has rivers, it has deserts, it has jungles, it has valleys, and it has stunning mountains. In 2020, because of its impressive economic reforms, Somalia has achieved debt relief and can finally focus on transforming the country and harnessing its vast potential. This is Somalia.